I think at the Miriam Hospital, one thing that's very important, given our heritage at the Miriam, of course we're open to everybody, but given that we're a Jewish hospital historically, is just to know why do we acknowledge World Hepatitis Day in July? World Hepatitis Day is held in honor of Baruch Bloomberg, who was a poor Jewish kid from New York who grew up and became a physician and a researcher. And in 1967, he was traveling around the world and he saw people with this yellow jaundice. Their eyes were yellow, their skin was yellow, their bellies were hurting. And he discovered the hepatitis B virus infection. And this discovery was met with tremendous skepticism, that there's a little invisible particle that infects the liver and makes people sick. Not only did Barack Bloomberg discover the hepatitis B virus, but then he said, I'm going to develop a vaccine to prevent this infection. Two years later, he developed the hepatitis B virus vaccine. This is the world's first cancer prevention vaccine because hepatitis B can lead to liver cancer in a minority of individuals. So he then developed the vaccine and then he was instrumental at implementing vaccination all around the world. So he saved millions and millions of lives. This is still one of our safest and most effective vaccines. It's recommended that all human beings on the planet Earth be vaccinated. In the United States, we recommend that we start at birth because hepatitis B is pretty infectious and contagious. If we miss that opportunity, we can get vaccinated at any point later in our life to prevent this. And for this remarkable work, one person identifying a virus, developing a vaccine, and then implementing this globally, Baruch Bloomberg was awarded the Nobel Prize. And in honor of Baruch Bloomberg's great accomplishments, um, he, he died in 2011, World Hepatitis Day was moved to July. And when asked, why did you do this? Why did you do this, Dr. Bloomberg? He said, well, there is in Jewish tradition and Jewish thought this idea that if you save one life, you save the world. And he said, that's what compelled me to go down this path. And so we're grateful that one person could make such a difference.